Yeah, I'll get the super chicken with chili, please, mate. This one? No, 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 the one on the left. Oh, that one? No, no, other left. Oh, this one. Proper tasty. Great. But too many calories. Oh. Want to know the best way to organise all that tasty information? Huh? And be able to tell the chef exactly where it is on the menu. Uh, OK. You need an array. Of course. What's an array? An array is a data structure. Obviously. Which is used to hold similar data of the same type. How's that going to help? Lots of different types of food can be organised into a structure. Oh, yeah. So having a set position for each type of food will help to... Find them? Yes. An array is like a table... Where which each is... element has an index in the array Whoa. and can hold a value. Call it, Einstein. It's not a game, but this is... Take away target. Oh, wicked, see? This game is bad. Yeah, like it. Declare your array. All right. What type of data... Or data type. Or data type is going into the array? Food? Yes. That's called the identifier. Got it. How many types of food? Mm, ten. Ten elements. Each of those boxes is called an element. Load food. Or freshly made, straight from the freezer. Arrays can store things like integers, floats and strings. Huh? Numbers or text. Right. But today, we're using names of fast food, which are stored as strings. Um... Words. Got it. By the way, an array is a static data structure. It means that once you've created it, you can't change the size. OK. Thanks, Denise. You're welcome. Now, we need a way of pointing at each element. Number your elements. Oh, oh, hold on. The first column's number zero. This is a computer science video, yeah? And what? So zero's the first number. Sick. Take a target. Round one. All right, then. I'll have a number four, please. Super chicken with chilli. Hold on, hold on. Wasn't that the one with too many calories? Yep. Calorie overload. You're going to need a new row for calorie content. Oh, yeah. And another row for reviews. I was going to add those. You've made a one-dimensional array. But to show food, reviews and calories, we need to store three types of data. We need three rows. And for three rows, we have to make a... Two-dimensional array. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Declare your two-dimensional array. Choose the array size. Three rows. Food, reviews, calories. Ten elements in each. Ten elements. And that's it made. Two-dimensional array. Ready? Ready. Order. OK, look at the reviews. Row one. Yeah. Column two. It's got three stars. And only 600 calories. Do it. I'll have a row zero. Column two, please. Spicy chicken wings. Perfect. You know it. I'll have a row zero, column nine. Super cheesy chips. Those chips have enough calories to kill an elephant. Where does it say that? Row two, column nine. Oh, yeah. How about try the slime burger? It's 100% organic. I've lost my appetite. Hashtag why are you putting it on your menu in the first place. That actually looks pretty good.